to see 50 cent. That struck a nerve for me. Come on, somebody. Now listen, listen. Hey, hey, this is, this is not BDT. But we got somebody here tonight. Come on, somebody. And it's only Jesus. It's only Jesus. Hey. 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 I thought about it. I thought when Jesus walked over on the stage, what you gonna do? Come on, somebody. Go away. 
gospel and saints when you was down and out. You didn't have no money or no nothing, but Jesus worked it out for you. Amen.
the Saints from Brother Simon Peters Church from New York. Y'all got a selection tonight on the left as well. And Brother Simon Peters Church from New York. Amen. Give my hand out of praise, y'all. I'm going to say you want to ask Brother Fred Mother Church from Farms to bless us with a song to it.
Amen. Funny how time flies when you have a good time. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Yeah, let us all stand to bless the time and offerings. Amen. We got a special request as the brother come out and sister on the song and sing Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Predestination, you are already predestinated. Do you understand what I'm saying tonight? He came to come and take the amnesia away from us to show you where you have been, where you are on the map, so that you can know how close we are to the rapture. But there's not going to be a rapture until there's a gathering. Amen. We said it last night. There's not going to be a rapture until there's a gathering taking place. Do, do you understand what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be deep. I'm just trying to show you where we're at. Amen. So may the Lord bless you tonight. Job chapter 42. I'm going to read from verses 12 and go right down to 17. Job chapter, Job chapter 42, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. The Bible says, so the Lord blessed the latter end of Job more than the beginning or his beginning. For he had 14,000 sheep. If you look in chapter 1, he had 700. And 6,000 camels, he had 3,000. And 1,000 yoke of oxen, he had 500. And 1,000 she asses, he had 500. He had also seven sons and three daughters. That didn't change. The oxen, the asses, and all those things increased. But that was in the animal kingdom. But he had the same seven sons and the three daughters. Right. And he called the name of the first Jemima from Memphis. We'll get into things just now. He called the name of the first Jemima and the name of the second Kizia or Kizia, some of you would call it, and the name of the third Kiren Hapak. And in all the land were no woman found so fair as the daughters of Job, for their father gave them inheritance among their brethren. After this, Job lived for 140 years and saw his sons and his sons' sons, even four generations. So Job died, being an old man, full of days. Father, we thank you for the reading of your word tonight. Lord, take the word, hide it into the hearts of your people tonight. May the anchor tonight, Father, is my sincere prayer, Lord. And let us sinners come in, Lord, and souls be saved. For our purpose, Lord, tonight is to look for that lost Lord one, Father, Amen. so that the rapture can come in, Almighty God. Bless the reading of your word. May you come and make it real to the people in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may take comforts of your seats tonight. Are you ready for the word? Yes, sir. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. So there's something that really struck me when, when I was busy just trying to see which the way the Lord wanted me to go into the scripture. And I began to look at the scripture. You see, at the end part, Job had a double portion. Amen. And I, and I, and I want to take my subject again tonight. You've got to live in your inheritance. Live in your inheritance. If you look at the Bible, it says that the girls or these women was given an inheritance among the brethren. Amen. It doesn't say that the men was given an inheritance. It says that the girls was given an inheritance. Amen. And I want you just to look at this for a few minutes. Job had three daughters. And these girls, as we know, they uh, in Job chapter 1 and Job chapter 42, in, 40, in Job chapter 1, the names of these girls are not really mentioned. All right. All right. All right. Come on. The names of them are not mentioned, but here in Job chapter 42, names are being mentioned. Right. And I ask myself, why is their names mentioned? Right. It is because there is an inheritance connected to their names. Right. So you can't have an inheritance without a name connected to your inheritance. Right. If you go and do some claims, they're going to ask you, what's your name? Show your name, then you can 
feel that, that, that old man that Brother Benham speaks about a job. He says, hey, there's, there's not enough room for me on the stage. I feel like... Go to 
seven church ages. Even this church, Jesus Christ Tabernacle, will go through seven church ages. I don't care how young you are, how old you are. You could be 40, 50 years in the message, but you're still in Smyrna. You see, Naomi came out, she was still Mara. Uh, Mara. Naomi came out, she was still bitter. You see, Walpa came out and she was still looking back into what she could get there, you know. Uh, she knew that she could get married again. But history tells me, I don't know how authentic this is, but just allow me to say this. History said that she came out and she married some other gentleman over in uh, Moab. And then she was the one that actually gave birth and genealogy. She was in the genealogy of Goliath. But here came Ruth, and Ruth went to, uh, to Boaz. And from Ruth and Boaz comes David. So it was a showdown again between Ruth, Ruth and Arpa. David and Goliath. The one turning back, but the other one coming all the way. There's no turning back, my brother. There's no turning back, my sister. You can't beat who you are. Because there's no replacement for you. I said that's just history, Jewish history. I'm not saying it's that saying the Lord. I think you can just, just, I just got that in there. Some of you could maybe be in Pergamos. Some of you could even be under that dominating female of Thyatira. Your, your husband says, honey, he said, don't you ever. Your husband says, honey, can we do this? What do you think and where do you think and who do you think is? Come on, sisters, come on. Come on. You know God hates a domineering female? Oh, that's not me. He says, I hate that spirit of Jezebel. Hallelujah! Jezebel lived in the time of Elijah. And spirits don't die. These are the days of Elijah. And if these are the days of Elijah, then Jezebel's spirit must be here. You've got to come out of it, spirit, and get out of the truck that the Elijah anointed. I could go into all the ages, but let me just stop here by the Udisha. Where he says, brother, I've increased in goods, and I've need of nothing. Maybe you are, you, you are still in Pergamos also, where church and state has uni united. Amen. You, your, your foot is in a message, but you're still going to be politics. I'm sorry, but that has to be must. It's in the Bible. Everything in the Bible must be preached. Whether the people like it, whether they don't invite you, you've got to preach it. You've got to say it. Start preaching CNN and Al Jazeera and all the different BBC. But that doesn't stop in that politics only. Some people is in church and they still with politics. Play. Brother Dix just didn't, you know, Go on, brother. you see how he's standing, brother? Oh, yeah. stop, 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 stop. But, but, and you know what? All he's got to do is just tell you something. He doesn't give you the whole story. But, 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 something that I, I didn't agree with, Brother Dix, you know. But, but, but I leave that up to you, brother. God will show it to you. You know what that God is with you? That God is with you in politics in the church.
physically. Behind the scene, behind the scene, we shake hands, Brother Biggs. God bless you, brother. But when we get into the public, now it's, it's time to destroy, Brother Biggs. But in the backyard, we shake hands. Brother, God bless you. I saw you went tonight in service. My, what a powerful service. Praise God, what have you. But after the service, now it's politics time. Church and politics have united. What church age are you Brother Kenny, Brother Kenny said, Brother, Brother Brian, did you feel the way I felt? You know, I just didn't want to say anything, you know, but have you seen, have you seen how Brother Diggs just took, took that to another level? So, but too, you know, is it almost like blasphemy, brother? I'm, I'm, I'm not saying it is good. I'm not saying it is good. You know? Have you heard those statements over this? I'm not saying it's creepy. Shut up. So, so brother Kenny says, yeah, brother Brian, you know, I, I, I didn't want to say anything, but brother, you know, let's just pray for our brother. But in the meantime, the seed is planted. Let every seed bring forth of this guy. When brother Kenny goes back, he's going to start thinking about brother Dixon. And before he you see Brother Dicks in church has a political violence in his mind. He can't overcome Brother Dicks. He avoids Brother Dicks. You know why? Because church and state has united under a church age. Hey, young sister, young brother, get out of politics. You know why they were destroyed in, in the wilderness? Here because they were involved in politics. Don't fight the elders' battles. Don't fight your grandma's battles. Brother Anderson, Brother Anderson, I apologize for standing on your seat, sir. You know, some of y'all are so political. Oh, great, 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 great grandmother is buried, dead twice, dead. She's ashes, but you're still fighting her battles because you're great, great, great grandmother. Don't go over there. And don't go over there. And don't go here. You go where I tell you go. Your pastor's got a political spirit. When he tells you where to go, how to go, where to go, why not to go. Brother, we must have fellowship. Because doctrine doesn't separate brethren. It's a bad spirit that separates brethren. Sometimes you pass them 
must warn you against false doctrine. Let me make that right. Let me say that right. Sometimes he must tell you that's false doctrine. He's got all the right to tell you that something is false. He's, he's a, it's his responsibility. But if your pastor comes up every Sunday just speaks about brother, brother this and brother Brandon, brother Dixon, brother that, that, your pastor's inferior. Your pastor don't know his position. But until he knows his position, that is in his inheritance. Until that he's not in the wilderness. You say, Brother Brian, are you qualified to say these things? I've been, I've been in this message for 38 years. I think I'm qualified to say it. You say, Brother Brian, your Brother Brian, you look so young. I've seen it all. I've been in all kinds of fights. Amen. Political spirits. You come into the message, you must die from that spirit. still have the same spirit. No. You know what I don't like is that when you greet somebody, you say, brother, how are you doing? Yeah. No. Have you met those brothers, brother Dix, brother Kenny, brother, how are you doing? Priest, come, what a powerful. Yeah, yeah. Why can't, why is he not enthused? Why is he not, what's, what's happening? He's, he's a wounded spirit. Understand about this brother. Why am I in this subject, brother? You see, Ahitophel. Ahitophel. I don't know I'm pronouncing it right. That's how we call it in, 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 in British English. Ahitophel. That was David's counselor. The old man. Remember, he was Bathsheba's grandfather. Oh, you didn't know that? Because you don't read your Bible? Just me. 
him with them. It doesn't surprise me, Brother Kenny. When men raises up and takes people out of the message of the hour, they are ordained epsilons to do such. And when they do that, I say, Amen. No, don't say, I shame. Amen. This brother was such a good brother. Ahitofa was a very good brother. Very good. Wherever the pastor sent him, he went where the pastor sent him. If the pastor asked him something, brother, you know what he did? The Bible says he gave good counsel to David. He never said, now you know what, you remember what you've done. He's not man enough to man up to his problems. Oh, is that too much? I can close you. I'm not too close. John said, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. The prophet says, what day is that? He says, it's this day. You know what Brother Brigham says? He says, John was in the vision. He says, John, he says, John, he says, and the elder came and the elder said, don't weep, John. For the lion of the tribe of Judah, the prophet says, John was in the vision. It was John seeing John because one of the 24 elders said to him, John, don't weep. So that one of the 24 elders, the church ages. 
He said, John rehearsed it. You know why? Because somebody told John that you're not going to die until you see the Lord's coming. It was the Lord Jesus Christ himself. And they made a doctrine around John the Beloved, John the Revelator. They said, oh, John, you're the one that Jesus said you're not going to die until you see the Lord coming. The Lord of God said he died, but he rehearsed the coming of the Lord. He walked through seven church ages. He heard those thunder scream. He said, there's nothing wrong with that word thunders. The devil put the scarecrow on the thunders. But there's nothing wrong with the thunders. What is the thunders? It's a divinely revealed mystery truth to turn our hearts back to the faith. church Jesus. He couldn't see the seals. He had to come out. And he had to go in to see the seals. Because all these things in the ages was natural things. It was things on the earth. Persecution, famine, pestilence, all those things. It was things on the earth. It had to deal with history. Do you believe it's history? Oh. You see, the prophet tells me, people always see what God has done. What he's going to do. But they fail to see what is he doing now. Am I right? You see, the first four seals is the first four horse riders. I'm going deep whether you like it or not. The first four seals is the four horse riders. And these four horse riders cover seven church angels. It was spirits that influenced the earth. They were right. Right? Did that happen? Did the seven church angels? Yes, it happened. That's history. God has done that. The fifth seal is souls under the altar, which was Jews that was martyred. Amen. They are under the altar. That is his story. That's what God has done. The sixth seal is a tribulation seal. That is going to happen. because they have a calling on their heart. Their own calling. I call them SAPs. Self-appointed pastors. SAP.
Am I, am I stepping on your toes? When, when you walk out of here, you better watch that. Watch them, watch them, watch that wounded spirit when it's not going out of its service. Tonight, let me preach my heart out. We've got to make sure that you're in the rapture. Am I right? We've got to make sure you're in the rapture. And I, I need to finish that way, people. Give me 10 15 minutes. I'll be back. Some people are in honor that white horse, full of deception. But when you look at them, You'll say, but never, never would this brother leave the pastor in the message and leave the prophet, not this brother. You know, you know if, we, if, if we look at Lucifer, if I would say, we're going to say, is this the man that deceived us? Is, is this the man? It, it can't be this brother.
and tell them Lucifer is like this and he's like that and Lucifer is like that. No, the pastor waits. Brother Lou will manifest. You see, when Brother Lou is kicked out, he can't get back in because there's no sacrifice for Brother Lou. So Brother Lou will never be redeemed because there's no blood for Brother Lou. The Sabbath has come to the knowledge of the truth and we made no sacrifice for their sin. Am I right? That's what the scripture says. Once you've come to the knowledge of the truth, the knowledge of the truth is the same time message. And once you've come to the knowledge of what this message is, and you still catch on what Brother Lou catched on. Uh oh. God watched ah. Brother Lou for that all those millions of years. Yeah. 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 And Brother Lou was standing coming up behind ah. the past. Why don't you appreciate the past? Ah. Ah. No, you didn't know what I said. Ah. No, I said, I said, Brother Lou came up behind the Lord when all the angels worshipped him and he said, Why don't you appreciate the past? Why don't you appreciate the Lord? Why there's none like him? He's the only God. He's the only pastor of this church. Praise God. Amen. But after that, Brother Lou goes to the other angels of the church. You know what Brother Lou says? I don't know why am I going in these things, but I, 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 I don't know. Brother Kenny, so Brother Lou goes to the other angels and tells them, you know what? Church is a bit monotonous, don't you think so? Same old routine. Revelations, ten revelations, seven revelations. Same old thing. Seven dollars, give you faith. Seven dollars. Five, three, five, seven. It's an old-fashioned brother. And then the pastor comes up after that, give me that old time. Same old, same old, same old, same old. Can you imagine? We only worship him, him. We must satisfy him. We work for him. Monotonous. All we have to sing one song every Sunday. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord. Monotonous, monotonous. Same thing over and over again. We need something new, brother. Now the Bible says, God, Paul says to Timothy, I charge thee before God and his elect angels. That means even the angels was elected. Not all angels was elect angels. Yes, they were created, but not all of them elected. Not everybody's in the message. Some is in the passage. I say these things, brothers. I charge thee before God and the elect angels. So God knew who was elected and who was not elected. So this thing of election doesn't start on earth, it started in heaven. So this thing of splitting the pastor's church didn't start in, in on earth, it started in heaven. Politics didn't start here in America, it started in heaven. In them. But you see, God is not going to push you to do what you say. He's a gentleman. He's going to wait for you to start your politics. So God is actually the one who knows about the politics that's happening in the message world. Because what is he doing? He's getting those out. That's those that are not coming in, they must get out. I need, to, I need to find a glow somewhere. I'm going to preach the whole night. I need to find a glow I see 
speak with the soldiers. You are not a red horse with the sword, and all you're doing, you're killing your brother's influence. I need to finish somewhere. I've got After the red horse, what do you get? Black. This guy, this guy is walking with a balance in his hands. If you don't give him, he doesn't give you. If you don't do for my family, I don't do for your family. Yeah. Some of y'all are like this. You know, I've seen some people do things. Yeah, the pastor asked them to do it. Look how they're running. Wow. Pastor said it and now you're running through. Come on, come on, brother. Come on. So you weigh everything. If you don't get acknowledged and put on a pedestal, you're not coming back to church again. <laughs> I wasn't here for the last two weeks. I was on a business trip. I just went to New York and I came back and you know when I stepped into church I expected Brother Anderson to at least say God bless you Brother Belton and Brother Anderson didn't acknowledge me. You know, he wants to be placed somewhere. Brother and sister, whether you have money or no money, whether you are acknowledged or not acknowledged, whether King George knows you or not, King Jesus knows me. Speak 
the German people, that's where we got our, our, our language from. It's, it's very aggressive. But when we speak, it's we upright and we speak and it sounds like we're aggressive. We're not aggressive, but... Y'all wanna go? Go. I need to close with a scripture that the Lord gave me just before I came on this pulpit. I need to finish it off. So will you bear with me? But that starts in the legs. And then it moves way up into the hands. People don't clap hands anymore. Let's clap for the Lord.
next to you. Just look at them. Don't shake hands yet. Look at them. Say, I'm getting in. I'm getting in. Because I know.
the Lord. I ain't gonna try to talk that. Yeah. 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 Come on, 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 come